So, today we're diving into two marketing platforms, MailChimp and OmniSend. In this video, we'll go over the general functionality of both platforms and compare them hand in hand. Whether you're just starting out or looking to level up your e-commerce game, these platforms have got you covered. But which one better suits your needs? I don't know, let's see. Let's kick things off with MailChimp's dashboard and discover what makes it special. MailChimp is like your creative partner. It offers easy to use tools for designing emails, segmenting your audience based on their preferences and more. So here we are on the MailChimp website and let's, and let's check out their pricing. So their pricing is based on how many contacts do you have, which is a standard practice in the industry. And the prices may vary depending on your contact list. Their plans start at $13 a month. Different plans on their website offers different functionality. For example, you can now find the address finder, purchase likelihood, customer lifetime value in the essentials or the free plan. And you cannot even use all of their email templates in the free plan. They are only called basic. And there are, I believe, seven or six of them. Generally, if you would look at all of this, the free plan is likely not gonna get you far. You will likely have to enter your credit card information in order to get somewhere. For example, you cannot even use customer journeys or automations on the free plan. You can only preview and set them up but you cannot start. And now let's transition ourselves into the actual dashboard of the MailChimp platform. So I already have a store connected to my account. And this is the general overview of the email performance, the revenue, the audience, and recent campaign performance, but I didn't send any campaign, so there is no information, just a general dashboard. And you can control your marketing endeavors with the menus on the left. In the content side, you can have the creative assistant, the website, analytics, audience, and etc. It's pretty obvious that with this big feature range, MailChimp was casting a big net on the entire email marketing industry and even far beyond that, I believe. Now let's check out OmniSend and see how it stands out in empowering your marketing efforts. OmniSend is like having a Swiss army knife for e-commerce email marketing. You can send emails, SMS, and even push notifications all from one place, making sure your customers hear from you wherever they are. So now let's check out OmniSend's feature offerings. And if we scroll by a little bit further, you can quite clearly see the difference on OmniSend's side. Most of the check marks are on a free plan, the same way that they are on a standard and pro plans. The only difference is mainly being email sends per month, free SMS credits, and web push notifications and published product reviews. Generally, most of their offerings are on a free plan already. In addition to that, OmniSend offers published product reviews on their platform, as opposed to MailChimp, which does not, as well as web push notifications. To be fair, MailChimp can also do that with the integrations like Yachtpop, for example. Same with the public reviews, they can offer those with a third-party plugin. OmniSend also offers SMS for free, as opposed to MailChimp, which offers them on a paid plan. Additionally, every OmniSend user gets $1 of SMS credits for free, and that equals to around 66 SMS in US. But don't take my word for it, let's actually check it out over here. Enter number of SMS, let's enter 66, and we get 0.99 US dollars, which is approximately $1. You can send 66 SMS for free. Now let's check out OmniSend's dashboard. So it's a pretty similar story, except it doesn't feel as overwhelming i'd say everything's pretty clearly laid out campaigns automation forms audience reports you can access all of your automations over here as well as your forms access manage them edit them or create new ones omniscient clearly focuses on e-commerce specifically so you get tools like product recommender product listings all integrated into your automations in your campaigns both platforms offer robust tools for creating and managing campaigns let's check them out if you want to create an email campaign on MailChimp site, you have multiple options. You can click on create or you can click on all campaigns and then click on create. And then you can set up a regular email, automation or a landing page. So in our case, let's design an email. Once the page loads, you can edit the name of your campaign. You can edit the subject line, send time, content from to everything you want. You can also connect to Instagram, connect Facebook, X, anything else. But let's check out the email builder itself. Let's go to design email and as you already saw there are multiple free templates that you can choose from and you can see them by clicking over here these are the templates mailchimp offers for free but if you want to upgrade your plan to a paid one you can click over here and see what you would get with that for now let's stick with free templates only and let's go with a natural one and this is the email template that we're going to work on so in the email itself you can add a spacer a divider a heading text 
image, video, code, a product listing, anything you would expect from an email. You can also change the overall style of the email. You can also set a default font, like for example, Times New Roman. And you can also optimize the email based on industry trends. So this is a pretty solid email builder. Now let's check out the Omnisend side. If you want to create an email campaign, you just go to the campaign section, click on create campaign and select email. If you want, you can also set up an A-B test. For now, let's just create a regular one. And we're also gonna call it test. Let's uncheck that. And let's just choose an email template. When comparing to MailChimp, Omnisend offers way more templates on their free plan. Actually, all of the templates are free to use. Either you're on a free plan or a paid one on Omnisend as opposed to MailChimp which offers seven basic ones and then everything else is behind a paywall. And so now we can check out a bunch of these templates. We can also use it, filter them based on holiday, based on automation, business finance, or some special occasions like a birthday, for example. And let's actually set up a birthday email. Let's use this one. And we are taken to the email builder. So in order to add things or elements to your email, you would go to the quick add, and then add a logo, menu, social media, discount, HTML code, free header, anything you would expect from an email. If you want to adjust the overall email settings, you can do that on the right side. You can change the background color, you can change the button styles, you can change the canvas width, and you can also change the elements themselves based on whatever you selected. Like for example, this is an image, you get the options for an image. This is a text, you get the options you would expect from a text. Overall, both of these platforms offer a generally similar experience. Both platforms offer built-in signup forms to start building your mailing lists quickly and easily. Let's compare them. So on the MailChimp side, if you want to create a form, you would go to the audience section and then click on signup forms. Or Alternatively, you can just click on create and we can choose from three different signup form options. So that would be an embedded form, a pop-up form or a signup landing page. In our case, let's just create a simple pop-up. Let's also call that a test and let's begin. And we are taken to the form builder immediately. So the form itself is pretty simple. You get the header, you get the form input fields and you get a button also an image on whichever side you would prefer. It can be at the top, it can be on the side, and it can be on the right. And it's all controlled in the layouts section over here. Now, if you want to enter more input fields, you would just click on the plus button and choose whatever you want. Now, there's also an additional step section. I don't know what it's called, but you can add an SMS signup, but it is behind a paywall. However, I have discovered a little bit of a hack to this. If you want, you can click on the plus icon and collect phone numbers. But as opposed to Omnisend, which requires GDPR or DCPA compliance in order to collect phone numbers, there is no really such option on the MailChimp side. The only way I have noticed to have this kind of option is to include a description for the input field and say something like privacy policy link and then your link over here. So this is how you would go about collecting phone numbers of your customers, but you would not be able to send SMS to them anyway on a free plan. And now let's switch to Omnisend. So if you want to create a form, you would go to the form section and create form. And here we are taken to the template library of forms, which MailChimp didn't really have. And you can choose from various different templates over here. And we also have a Wheel of Fortune, which is a quite a gamified version of the signup form. You enter your email and you get to spin the wheel to collect some prizes. But let's not do that today. Let's just select a pretty simple one. Let's, for example, say this one. Now the Omnisense form builder is a bit more feature rich then MailChimp, like for example, you can even set up an EB test for your forms. You can include the Wheel of Fortune, you can have the countdown timer, you can have the radio buttons, checkboxes, legal consent, which is required for SMS collection, which MailChimp didn't really have. And you can also see each step your customer would take. You can actually see the form, what the customer would see in the success page, if the person is already subscribed, 
and even a little teaser that would be present on your website for the whole time if waiting for your potential subscribers to click on it. Additionally, you can add a new step to your form. For, so for example, if you want to collect an email first, let's just get rid of this one for now, an email first, and then if, if you want to collect your phone number, if the customer already entered their email and then dropped off at the phone collection stage, you would still get their email, which is a nice way not to overwhelm your potential customer with too many input fields all at once. Automation and targeting are key players here. Let's check out how these platforms match up. On the MailChimp side, if you want to create an automation or a customer journey, you would go to automations and then let's choose pre-built journeys to see what MailChimp can recommend us. So let's welcome contacts who subscribed via your pop-up form. This is the welcome automation. It's a pretty basic stuff. So let's click over here and here we can preview what it would look like. So the trigger would be a contact sign up, signs up to the audience, send email one, and then a free day delay and send email two, add a tag, and then we add a tag received pop-up form offer. I would actually take the tag and add it first. After sending the first email, which seems to already have the discount code over there. So let's actually go ahead and use this journey so we can adjust it to our liking. Let's continue. And now we can actually edit the automation. So let's do exactly what we said and take the add a tag one and move it up. Okay, so the editor is probably cut out what, it, what I was doing for the last like two minutes, but I was trying to figure out how to move a certain action to a different spot, but I, I could not figure that out. So I guess you can add journey points, but it doesn't really matter if you're on a free plan because you would need to upgrade to continue because automations or journeys are not available on a free plan anyway. You can only preview and set up things, but you cannot start the actual automation. Now to add a journey point, you can simply hover over these plus signs and then add different actions or rules. I actually cannot figure out how to move the actions and also start the automation. So let's go over to the Omnisense side and see how they match up. On the Omnisense side, let's click on automation and let's create a workflow. Let's also create a welcome one and they are called just welcome. And there are three options to choose from. The one that includes three emails, one email and SMS, and only one email. So let's set up this one. Now, this is also a bit of a differentiator from MailChimp because you can actually set up and send SMS in automations, even on a free plan on OmniSend, as opposed to the MailChimp, which only allows sending SMS or MMS from customer journey builders on their standard plan, not even the essential one. So this is the automation builder in OmniSend. You can Click on show stats or hide stats to see how many customers are already in it or how many exited or completed it. But since this is just a fresh new automation, there is no data. But if it was an active one, you can actually check the stats right over here. You can add email, SMS, push notifications, and a bunch of flow actions. For example, tagging contacts or splitting them based on certain conditions or delaying the send for however long you would like to. Overall, it's a pretty similar experience, except you can do everything everything you want in automations on a free plan, just like the people that are on a paid plan can do, as opposed to MailChimp, which offers that kind of functionality only on a paid plan. Now let's see how these platforms compare in SMS and MMS sending. So over on the MailChimp side, if you want to send an SMS, you can click on create or just click on campaigns and then SMS. Oh, never mind, I have to pay. Let's check out how things are on OmniSend. If you want to create an SMS campaign on OmniSend, you would need to go to campaigns, create campaign, SMS. And this is what it would look like on Omnisense side. So you can create a campaign name. It's not going to be visible for anyone else. It's just for internal use only. So let's call it test. Let's call our sender's name. And we can just type out the message as we would on any other platform or, or even on your phone. Let me just come up with something. And there we go. We have successfully created an SMS. If we want to turn this into an MMS, we can just add a file over here. And it also automatically shortens links because message length in SMS matters a lot. So we want to reduce it as much as we possibly can. This is why basicbeast.com shop turns into this short little link. 
and whenever we are ready to send, we can click on the next step and go through the whole process. Additionally, OmniSend also offers a bit more functionality in terms of SMS. So if you go to the store settings and go to SMS, we can also adjust multiple settings in the SMS options page. We can turn on or off the quiet hours. These are the hours that you would not be sending to your customers based on their time zone. And it can also set daily sending limits as to not overly spam certain customers. For example, you can enable it and set it to two SMS messages per day. You can even go even lower with one SMS message per day. Additionally, as I said before, you can even add SMS in automations. Integrating with your e-commerce platform is a breeze with both MailChimp and OmniSend. It takes just a couple of clicks with both of the platforms. Essentially, it's a click, click, install process and you're good to go. Whether it's Shopify, WooCommerce or any other platform, the process is seamless. Now let's talk dollars and cents. MailChimp offers a lot of features and their lowest tier plan starts at $13 a month. Month, with certain features restricted for higher tier plans, like sending MMS, advanced segmentation, sending SMS from customer journey, and content delivery by time zone, to name a few. While OmniSend starts at $16 a month, with barely any difference compared to a free plan, except for higher limits on certain actions. Because here's the thing, OmniSend empowers you to take advantage of their platform in its entirety on a free plan. You are welcome to send SMS directly or in automations, create and launch as many automations as you'd like, start A-B testing your campaigns and sign up forms, use their virtually unlimited arsenal of email templates, all on a free plan. As opposed to MailChimp, which doesn't offer any of the aforementioned features on their free plan. In a nutshell, MailChimp and OmniSend offer everything you need to crush it in e-commerce marketing. Whether you're all about creativity, automation, or multi-channel strategies, these platforms have your back. While MailChimp is casting a much wider net with its robust feature set, OmniSend is much more focused on e-commerce merchants in particular. So which one is better? Well, Steve, it's up to you to decide. Thanks for watching and now choose wisely.